good evening. A cloud hangs over Serena Williams' Australian Open title defence tonight after more knee trouble at the Hopman Cup. Williams had to retire from her match against Australian Yamila Wolf. Our Aussie men are finding form. Leighton Hewitt defeated Jack Sock in straight sets and Bernard Tomic is the only Aussie left standing at the Brisbane International. The chances of an Australian whitewash over the West Indies in the third test at the SCG have all but vanished with play abandoned for a second straight day. In the Big Bash, the Adelaide Strikers are alone on top of the table after downing the Perth Scorchers by 36 runs last night. A day after being named in the Aussie one-day squad, Scorchers paceman Joel Paris showed some razor-sharp reflexes in the field. Settles. Oh, oh no, he's got it. the rebound! Good evening. Batsman Usman Kawadra and Joe Burns were among several test players left out of Australia's one-day squad on a day ruined by rain at the SCG. The West Indies were 7 for 248 when day two was abandoned, but the Aussie bowlers don't think lost time will cost them a clean sweep. This may be an irresistible omen bet. Michelle Payne will ride a 100 to 1 shot called Rainy Day Woman in tomorrow's Magic Million. She's a filly with all female owners and showers a forecast. Before her late call up, the Melbourne Cup winning jockey met her sporting hero at the Brisbane International. Here's Ryan with sport. Thank you, Nat. Australian opener Chris Rogers is on track to be fit for tomorrow night's third Ashes Test at Edgbaston. Rogers faced our pace bowlers in the nets overnight for the first time since his dizzy spell at Lords. Mitchell Stark has dared England to follow through on their plan to prepare a pace-friendly wicket. Top of sport now. Here's Ryan. Thanks, Koshy. Troubled AFL star Harley Bennell has apologised for the drug scandal that threatened to end his career. Pictures emerged of the Gold Coast Suns midfielder doing drugs earlier this month. Welcome to Saturday Arvo Racing and it's Zipping Classic Day and there's the old war horse himself, Zipping. Uh, enjoying life post-racing up at Living Legends and even one of his jockeys, Stephen Arnold, caught up with him earlier in the week. Just to catch up with his old mate, he won four in a row. The Zipping Classic and it is our feature today. Great to have your company for the final Saturday Arvo Racing for 2014. I'm Ryan Phelan. And let's hear from the trainer Mick Burles. Ryan Phelan, you've got him. Down here with Mick Burles, uh, how do you describe this moment? Yeah, it's a bit overwhelming, isn't it? <laughs> oh, well, it's good, though. Your job's done now. How, how are the nerves, though? Yeah, real good. Probably kick in a bit when he gets in the barrier. Well, Longford, Tasmania, Australia's all behind you. Good luck. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Rarely has there been a Melbourne Cup week more unpredictable than this one. And today, there's another factor, the weather. Horses are arriving on track an hour later than normal to counter that. And I'll be down here in the stabling area today bringing you up to date with all the news and happenings as the Melbourne Cup week looks to end with a bang. Ryan Phelan, uh, uh, we're having a little kitty squabble in here, as you can hear. Um, you interviewed Ryan Moore after the race. It was a sensational Cox play. Uh, it really was, Bruce, and it's great news that we're going to get to see more of him here in Australia with the confirmation that he will go to Chris Wallace Stables in Sydney and aim up at the championships in the autumn. It's been a busy day in the stewards room, not just here in Melbourne, but also in Sydney. Most importantly, Blake Shin, who has been in dazzling form in Sydney, has been rubbed out for six meetings, which means he will miss the Melbourne Cup. The hype surrounding Jared Hayne is taking its toll as he prepares to make his debut in America's most popular sporting code, the NFL. The former NRL star is still waiting to find out if he'll take to the field on Tuesday for the San Francisco 49ers. And with all the attention, he's losing his patience. Jared Hayne may be the talk of the town in San Francisco, but the man himself doesn't seem too fussed about the speculation. It's another week, you know, another week to study and, and, and to train and to, to learn the game. So, you know, for me, things haven't changed, you know, it's exactly the same for me. Mystery surrounds whether the Hain plane will be cleared for takeoff against the Minnesota Vikings on Tuesday. 49ers coach Jim Tom Sula is playing down his role, but many suggest it's a smokescreen and the Aussie could be used as a secret weapon. 